everyone, I hope you're doing well. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. It's been such a long time I haven't shared my favorite recipes with you and that's what I'll do today. I will share three breakfasts that I'm pretty obsessed with at the moment. These three recipes are totally different from one another, you'll see, but I think they're pretty unique and I really hope you'll enjoy them. So let's get right into it. For this first recipe, we're gonna need seasonal fruits and vegetables. I use a butternut, some apples, and some grapes, but you can totally use any other fruits like pears, clementines, figs, anything you love. You chop them, and I would advise you chop them even smaller than I did, and then add a lot of cinnamon and mix that well so it's all coated on the vegetables and fruits. For the topping, you're gonna make some oats, some hazelnuts, some chopped dates, and a lot of spices. I love to add like ginger, nutmeg, clove, but you can play around with the spices that you love the most. And then as a binder, I use tahini, which is really rich in calcium, magnesium, healthy fats, protein. It's just really nice to combine things together. So you wanna mix that until it sticks all together. The full recipe will be, of course, in the description box below. And then you just pour all the mix on top of the fruits and vegetables and you put that in the oven for about 15 minutes. I think it's really nice to add some butternut because it has a lot of vitamin A but also it reduces the amount of fruits. It's not too high in sugar either so I think it's like really well balanced. There's a lot of fiber in there and yeah, it just makes it really nice and cozy and perfect for fall season. And of course, you cannot go away without a drizzle of tahini. <laughs> if you're a true follower, if not welcome, you know that I'm obsessed with oatmeal. I have it pretty much like five times a week at least. I am obsessed and of course I love to change it up with the season with different fruits, different flavors, different seasoning. So for this recipe we'll make two serves and I use a cup of oats, two cups of water and three teaspoons of chia seeds. I mix that all together, put that on the heat and stir that a little bit until a low boil. Then I reduce the heat and that's when I add a lot of cinnamon. I also add a handful of raisins and mix that again together. I know we're all so different on the consistency that we love on the oatmeal. I like mine to be really thick and kind of sticky, if that makes sense. So yeah, you kind of just have to play around with the water and the amount of oats that you need just to find the perfect balance. I add a few drops of orange blossom extract as well as a little splash of plant-based milk at the end of the cooking. That will make it really creamy and yeah, I think it really adds a little something at the end. Who else is obsessed with doing this? All right, then I pour into the bowls and I add some seasonal toppings. This is where all the seasonal thing happens. So I have a clementine, a lot of figs, which are really rich in vitamin A, vitamin K, super good antioxidant, hazelnut, pumpkin seeds, and of course, again, tahini. I'm, I mean, I'm pretty obsessed with tahini, if you cannot tell. So yeah, this is a really good breakfast. And if you want to add more toppings to make it fuller, of course, feel free to do so. So I mostly love like a warming breakfast, but I know some of you prefer smoothie still in fall and I do too some days a week. So I just thought I would show you a smoothie that's still really comforting and calls for coziness, which is an apple pie smoothie. So first of all, you need to bake apples. I know it requires a little bit more time than just blending some fruits in a blender, but trust me, it'll make a really good difference. So I just add a lot of cinnamon. Again, it's like the spice of the season. Uh, a little bit of water and cook that really slowly and throughout like for about 15 to 20 minutes until apples are really soft and fragrant. 
and then a little hack to make it colder quicker i just put them on a plate and lay flat so it catches the most air possible When the apples are room temperature, I add them to the blender. I also add a lot of oats, which increase the fiber and decrease the high sugars of the apples. I add some sunflower seeds for extra protein and healthy fats, some dates, and a lot, I mean a lot. It just takes forever to pour <laughs> soy milk and ice cubes to make it even colder if you like. And just blend that up for a few minutes. So this consistency is really thick you could also do a smoothie bowl but i'm just going to show you a smoothie but of course i have it a couple of times with toppings on top in a bowl so make sure you just try the version that you like if you're more hungry go for the toppings if you're not if you're just like a little snack go for the smoothie but yeah i just think it's really comforting and delicious i hope that you can try it out i can't wait to have your feedback on it so yeah, these are the three breakfasts that I can't get over at the moment. I have them multiple times a week. As you can see, some you can make in advance in big batches. So yeah, that's really easy to have in the morning. There's gonna be a lot of recipes coming, particularly on my Instagram. So make sure you follow me there to have more vegan recipes and healthy recipes. And I also hope that the nutrition info at the end was helpful. Uh, let me know if it was helpful and I can include it or not in my future videos. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time.